<laughs> no. Oh, that's the scoreboard. That's it. That's all you're going to see. Everything else will be on this. Once it gets uh, updated. For some reason, uh, phone service today is not acting very well. <laughs> Trojans. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from the Lady Gator Softball Park here on the campus of Sattamore High School. Today is the second round of the 5A State Championship Softball Playoffs. The two teams today will pit the uh, Alexandra High School Lady Trojans taking on your homestanding Lady Gators. Lady Gators coming to today's ball game with an overall record of 24 wins, two losses. Alexandria comes in with a record of 15 wins and 14 losses. Come out of a very strong district in the northern part of the state, so uh, can't let that uh, record fool you. That record fool you. Hey, Lady Gators will have to bring their A game today. Should be an exciting one. We're getting ready to start here. Uh, real quick, too, I want to welcome everyone, uh, all the Lady Gator fans, as well as any Lady Trojan fans as well. Uh, feel free to make comments. Um, for those of y'all just tuning in for the first time, uh, we are Duck Roo Sports Network. We are a parent-driven network. Uh, parents do this on their own. We cover all 28 sports here at Santa Monica High School as much as we possibly can. We are a nonprofit organization, so we do take uh, donations. As you can see on the uh, thing there, we have our Venmo and PayPal accounts. So feel free to donate as well anytime. Uh, if you're enjoying what you're seeing and listening to, we appreciate it. Uh, again, make comments. Uh, be, be very well aware. We are a very biased network. We love our Gators. Uh, but that being said, we recognize good sportsmanship, good plays, everything. Um, I made several comments Monday night against the Captain Shreve team and how impressed I was with their sportsmanship, their coaching staff, their fans. Everything was, was good all around. So uh, if you're all watching from the Lady Trojans, make a comment. Let me know if you got a grandkid out there playing, granddaughter playing or something. Let us know. Or if you're a mom and dad back home working, let us know. And uh, as we get ready to start, here we go. We're getting ready to do the starting lineup for both teams. The, uh, that's just a bit of information. Uh, a lot of you around the Ascension area here are very familiar with a little sports program called Sports Scene, put out by Mr. Robin Coco. He has a great article on the Lady Gators uh, that came out this morning. And uh, so if you're in the business area, look around, ask if they've got them on hand, they're free. 
just get you one Jayla, and, uh, great pictures and great articles on the girls. Number 27, Traxton Finney. Number 36, Emily Carter. And number 99, Janexi Morgan. Your starters for the Lady Trojans. Center fielder, number 15, Paris Johnson. Again, folks, if you got somebody out there watching that they, that they don't know about it, let them know. All they need is internet and Facebook. They can watch from anywhere in the world. And you can tell we got the, uh, some grandparents up in Michigan that, that usually watch every game. Uh, we usually have Alabama, Mississippi, South Dakota, North Carolina. We had them from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. We even got people in Hawaii that watch some of the baseball games as well. And in the circle for the Trojans, number 32, Amber Barr. Joined the coach by head coach Lance Caruth. Assistant coaches, Katie Curtis and Ryan Thompson. We'll get the lineup for the Spartan Gators and, and we'll go national anthem and we'll be live. Gators. Number four, Ashley Jones. Number 12, Addison Gomez. Number 13, Mackenzie Elazar. Number 18, Olivia Falcon. Number 19, Aubrey Dunn. Number 23, Kyra Sorensen. Number 25, Katarina Byers. Number 28, Kennedy Gautreaux. And number 32, Kennedy Parker. And now your stars for the Lady Gators. Pitching number 21, Addison Jackson. Third baseman, number 20, Alex Franklin. Ready to play some softball here this afternoon. As high school in Salomon High School. Throwing the rubber once again will be Addison Jackson. As she has all year long, all but started all but one game. This year her record, personal record, is 23 wins and two losses. In those uh, 25 ball games, she has struck out almost 220 batters. So she's got a high strikeout ratio. So the home side is not working at this time. Home side is not working this time. Again. Clark Clint, fix that. That's Clark Clark Clint, Clark, fix that. Everybody say hello to. Uh, Miss Chandler Gibbs, 2019 goes down the state champion. Goes down the second base, 
And we're ready for the first pitch in the ball game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got their names. I don't have first names. I got his last name. This is Miss Johnson. Number 15. Center fielder. Number 15. Paris Johnson. Their lineup didn't have their first names. They just had their initials. It's Miss Johnson. First pitch. A little bit on the outside. And we're underway here in the top half of the first inning. Second so pitch is down low for ball two. Wind sitting here in the bleachers behind home plate. Seems to be blowing right in our face. The flags look like they're going from right to left. Out in the outfield. There's a call strike on the outside part of the plate. Two balls and one strike. First batter here in top half of the first inning. The winner goes on to play in the third round of the 5A state championship. The loser goes home and, and we'll get him next year. That pitch is just foul. Does it count two balls and two strikes? Lady Trojans uh, got here to the second round uh, victorious over Ponchatoula Monday afternoon by a score of nine to one. The Lady Gators had a much easier time with uh, Captain Shreve out of Shreveport. Ten run ruling on board. Good play, but not going to get that speed. Julia Kramer went way to her right and dove and stopped the ball from going in the left field, but she wasn't going to throw out the speedy Jackson. be Miss Williams. And we have a number one Williams at the plate now. So a couple of uh, left-handed slap hitters leading off for the Lady Trojans. Curious to see if the Lady Trojans are going to try to take some steals on on the Lady Gators this afternoon. Kind of watching the runner at first base. Good job, Sophie. They throw the call strike two. So Jackson the head and the count, one ball, two strikes. One outside and no go. Runs the count even, two balls and two strikes. Getting back to that game Monday afternoon, the Lady Gators uh, set out uh, Captain Shreve. Captain Shreve by the three fourth by score of 14 and nothing in four innings. There goes the runner. Oh. Second base. Uh, the throw was there on time, but he hit the uh, runner. Good job, Sophie. So a uh, stolen base. So that answers the question whether they're going to try to run on the Lady Gators here this afternoon. Count is full, three balls and two strikes. As they foul back out of play over the press box roof. Yeah, wind blowing straight in from center field right now. Oh yeah, that, once some, that sun goes down, I got some out there. It's gonna get cool. There, uh, Jackson records their first strikeout in the ball game. 
He recorded nine in uh, what four innings? Five. Five innings. Yeah. That's what Alexandria is. In a five inning ball game, recorded nine strikeouts Monday afternoon. One out, one on, no score. We're in the top of the first inning. That was a great curveball. Not called a strike. It's a ball one. That ball broke a good bit. Yeah. The ball low in the deck. Jackson uh, Monday had won a lot of ball, three counts on a lot of batters, but was able to come back and get just about every one of them. There's a little pop that'll go through Alex Franklin at third base to record the second out here in the top half of the first inning. Now that is for the Lee Trojans. President Terry Wilson, Madison, Briggs. Uh, Miss Jolie, once again, you are welcome anytime you want to come announce. You are more than welcome. Briggs, Miss Briggs. Briggs. Clean up hitter. That was Chris John Lowe. Just underway here at Lady Gator Park, second round of the 5A State Championship softball playoffs. The Lady Gators and the Lady Trojans of Ash. Alexandria High School. There's a fly ball out to center field. Good job. And, uh, our lead beam took one step back, two steps forward, and uh, camped up and made the third out here in the top half of the third inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the inning. No score. some innings, one of the first or second innings. I don't need to catch a cold. Who's the pitcher for? Uh, I don't think she's back. Number 32. 32 is her last name Barr. B-A-R-R, -R. yeah, she's the uh, flex. I normally like to go and get that record and stuff like that. I mean, didn't get a chance to. On the second base, and we're going to start the bottom half of the first inning. After a leadoff single between third and short, lead off for your Lady Gators. For the Lady Georgians in the top half of the first inning, a stolen base. Jackson was at second base, and that's where she wound up at the third out. So the leadoff hit went for naught there in the top half of the first inning. And leading off, as usual, all year long, the Lady Gator pitcher, Addison Jackson. Jackson hit her 14th home run Monday. One shy of the Salomon High School Lady Gator record. Single season record. Single season record, yeah. Yeah. Lady Gators have been playing long ball here in the last few ball games. And there goes one, and that's out of here, folks. That's out of here. That's not out of here. Out of here. Right. right on cue. She hit that thing on a line shot. There was a no doubter when it left the back. So that ties her with uh, LSU. Uh, uh, Lady Tiger. Taylor, Taylor Kidwell. Kidwell. Yeah. 
Thanks to Lady Gators, your third baseman, number 20. And like I said, the Lady Gators have been playing long ball here the last few ball games. And, uh, Quite a good leadoff hit right there. I mean, that ball jumped out of here right quick against that win. And that'll send to the plate the freshman Lady Gator third baseman, Alex Franklin. That pitch is inside, ball one. Hey, when you go down, the umbrella fell down. It's a whole thing out. Don't know where everybody is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. There's a curve ball. Misses outside. Runs the count. Two balls and no strikes. And we'll see how this young lady on the in the circle, or the lady Trojans, handles that leadoff home run by Addison Jackson. That pitch is high, ball three, so she falls behind, three balls, no strikes. One to nothing, we're in the bottom of the first inning. Lady Gators ahead on the Addison Jackson leadoff home run. They don't want to pitch to her either. She... Yeah, pitch right down the middle. If y'all if y'all tuned strikes. in Monday, I let everybody know Miss Franklin here is hitting 700 on the season. Don't listen to what that guy wrote in the paper. <laughs> He's wrong. <laughs> I think that's a slight exaggeration. No, no, because I definitely I, a long ball hitter. I, I a told hard ground to the second. Scoops it up and scoops it over the first base. So that drops it down to like six fifty right now. <laughs> okay. uh, I told her dad before the game that uh, I emphasize. If it's an important hit, you get more credit for it. You know, if it's like a, a just a single in the second inning, that's just a base hit. But if it's a game winning RBI double or something like that, you get more points. Seven to the plate, the MVP of the 2019 state championship playoff, Miss Julia Kramer, shortstop. That's right. Hit the game winning. Three run home run in the top half of the seventh inning in 2019 over Barb High School to bring the oh. sixth state championship for Santa Maria High School. Which is out there in the left field where Addison almost hit when that home run. She just went to the right side of that sign, as we call it, the intimidator out there. Well, and hard ooh, shot, ooh. second baseman. Hey. Oh, call her out. No, yeah, he called her out, but she got hit. Yeah, that girl got hit right in the neck. Hopefully she's all right. That was Kramer, Hilly, Screamer, just to the left of the second baseman. I thought the young lady the moved face. over, actually got in front of it, and the ball bounced up and hit her in the neck. Yeah, went off a glove up but, her arm. Uh, he was able to recover and, and make a quick throw to first base just to get uh, Kramer for the second out, but we have a timeout in the Ashton because that had to hurt and it will hurt for a while. Good job, Ed. Seems to be all right. Coach is walking back to the dugout. I thought it came up and hit her in the face. So with two outs and nobody on, the batter at first baseman, Shelby Whittington. Whittington, one of four seniors, honored this year on the Lady Gator softball program. And there's another ground ball to the second baseman. <laughs> As he leaned down and was able to grab that one and put it to first base. Now the real record, the third out here in the bottom of the first inning. We're going to go to the second Gators. inning. One Good nothing, Lady Gators. Gators. And one hit, and four left on base. Who will complete your score? Lady Gators one, Lady Trojan zero. Oh, 
Yep. Yep. Staying on that outside corner. Pitcher? Yeah, pitcher for Barr. So the young pitcher for Hatch, after giving up the leadoff home run, was able to settle down. Actually got three ground balls all to the second baseman. And the second baseman, even though getting hit in the throat with one, was able to make all three plays to retire the side. Throw goes down to second base, and we're going to start the top half of the second inning. That's what I got to do. There we go. Eighty-seven. Top of the second inning for the Trojans. Second baseman number twenty-one, Walby. We got. Uh, let's see who all we got watching. My mom and dad's watching. Miss Pam A. Bear's watching. 21 to Roof is batting for uh, the Lady Trojans, leading off the top of the second inning. First pitch is low for a ball. Miss Evelyn Petrie watching down there. As always, glad you can tune in. Right, this is just inside. Two balls and no strikes. Top half of the second inning, just getting underway. One nothing, Lady Gators. There's a swing and a miss of the rise ball. That's uh, that's we're gonna refer to her as socks from now on. I thought we discussed that, Miss Ellisar. Pitch just high. Three balls, one strike here. The leadoff batter in the top half of the second inning. I think Addison wanted that pitch right there. A little high. Stayed up a little yeah. bit too much. Yeah. Look, there's ball four. So she walks the first batter here of the ball game. Lead off the second inning. This will bring up. It's uh, Amon. That's up, Lady Trojans. Third base Number two, Laura. Amon. 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 <laughs> There's a bunt. Down the first base, winning from the good job. Picks it up, fires it over to Zeller at covering first base. Runner moves in the scoring position at second base. Number 16, Avery Stallings. Stallings must be the batter. Sister of the uh, three hole hitter. Most last name, Stallings. Thank you, you know, Lord. Uh, you say, excuse me, and they'll move yeah, the body. And you grab the rail. That's what you do. I don't see what that one is. one inside ball one. Oh. Strike runs the count even one ball, one strike. Lady Gators with an early one nothing lead. Lady Trojans do have the tying run that second base with just one out. Where is there now? Yeah. One second. Yeah, back one. Pitch was fouled back against the screen. One ball and two strikes. Oh, that pitch is high 
guy got away from uh, catcher Sophie Smith. The runner moves over to third base with just one out. Two balls, two strikes. One out, a runner on third. Good oh, call. Yeah, swing in the miss. And Jackson requires her second strike out of the ball game. Bring up Miss uh, Scorbot. Scorbot. First baseman, number seven, Anna Scorbot. Scorbot. Now with two outs and the runner at third base here in the top of the second inning. There, the call strike right at the knees. Like we were saying earlier in the ball game, uh, Ash comes in with a that ball straight oh, that's back against the screen. Where were you going? Turn the, uh, make sure you turn the 3D uh, on on your TV. It's coming right at you. So Jackson way ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. Talking about the record 15 and 14 for Ash. Don't let that fool you. These girls are well seasoned and with three pitches. Madison Jackson records his third strike out, and that will cancel the threat at third base. So after an inning and a half, we're going to go to the bottom of the second. The Gator is one. Georgia's nothing. Again, folks, uh, let everybody know. Uh, Lady Gator softball coming to you live, Duck Root Sports Network. Uh, also, Lady Trojans, any fans out there y'all have, let them know. They can watch it live. Uh, all you gotta do is, if you don't mind, share the page, like the page, share the feed, like the feed. Uh, we got uh, 98 people watching right now, so uh, let everybody know. And also, if you don't mind, it says we have our Venmo no, and PayPal accounts no, walk, look, down at the bottom. Look, if you don't mind, we got a couple extra dollars you want to throw our way in appreciation of me. bringing this they to will you. Move. We do I'll appreciate move. it. All money goes. Straight to the Santa Mo High Athletic Department, supporting all 28 recognized sports here at Santa Mo High School. Uh, so far, Duff Root Sports, me and Chuck, basically have been able to turn over a little over $14,000 to the athletic department. All from uh, just donations from people like you. We got some, uh, this, uh, we got some corporate years. sponsors and some uh, basically just donations. That will keep us being able to do this for the next few years and uh, hopefully improve on it in one way or another with technology these days. Yep. And we're going to start the bottom of the second inning. And to do that, we'll be catcher Sophie Smith. Uh, just got an update as well. Uh, Pineville is winning 6-1 to one in bottom of the third inning right now. Oh, wow. Uh, you just heard Brad say Pineville winning. If if we were to win this game and Pineville, Pineville wins their game against Hanville, we will have a third round here at Lady Gator Park, rain permitting Saturday. Saturday, yeah. So right now we're pulling for Pineville and the Lady Gators. If Hanville were to come back and win the game and we win the game, we would have to travel to Hanville. <laughs> Sophie Smith way ahead in the count, three balls and no strike. There's a fish right down the middle. Three balls and one strike. Well, uh, Preston, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let everybody else know that too. Oh, and that, that fish hit Sophie in the helmet. Trots on down to first base. I say, if it, if it hit her anywhere else, it would have hurt. 
Katarina Byers will be the courtesy runner for our Smith. Now, Smith being the catcher is allowed in courtesy runner. That'll send to the plate. Freshman second baseman. MB. MB. Zeller. Mary Beth Zeller. One, oh, one no. of two freshmen starters all year long for the Lady Gators. I think there's uh, two freshmen, three sophomores, two juniors, and three seniors starters. Oh, okay, Preston. Glad junior, to know that. One junior. Hey, real quick, did y'all lose video feed on y'all end? Because I lost it on my end. I'm still getting your comments, but I lost video yeah. feed. You still, you lost video feed? Uh oh. Hey, TNT, that is fine. Yeah. All right, folks, bear with me. Can they still hear us? I think so. We'll go on like they can. There's a foul out of play to our left. One ball and two strikes. Apparently, they can still hear us. So uh, bear with us, folks. Soon as we go uh, in between innings, we'll we'll try to figure something out. We try to do play by play as much like radio as possible. For those of the uh, these mamas that might have to be cooking in between innings or whatever, you can still hear the oh, play by play. Oh, he still got video. He still got video. Still have it. Yeah, okay. it's back. I just okay. might have to refresh my page right. when we're done. All right, thank y'all. One very ball, much. two strikes, one on, nobody out here. Bottom half of the second inning. There's a pitch up high, running out even. Two balls and two strikes. There's ball low in the dirt. Full count. Well, I know if they're getting video feed all the way over Mississippi, we got to be doing something right. Uh, it's yeah. outside. So Mary Beth Zella falling behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. Works her way to a walk. She cuts down to the first base. So that puts runners at first and second base. There's nobody out here in the bottom of the second inning. Joe, that, this is actually the first time to play the right field of Carmen I'm Dixon. Carmen has been on a hitting streak here herself the last few ball games. Good point. Lay down a point. Sacrifice bunt moves the runners over to second and third on a beautifully placed bunt by Carmen Dixon. Dixon, the lone junior in the lineup for the Lady Gators. That'll send to the plate the designated hitter. Number 26, Samantha Landex. Landex with a chance to put a runner two extra on the board. There they slow ground to the, to the plate. Safe! Great slide. Great slide. Touch the base. Touch the base. Yeah, you already called the safe. Oh, okay. He called her safe? Yeah. I didn't see him call her safe. Yeah, he, safe. he just kept looking at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of scared me. So, so, so Samantha Landesh with a swinging bunt drives in the uh, an RBI here. The Lady Gators taking a 2 nothing lead. Landesh winds up at second base on the play that was trying to be made at home plate. Lady get a center fielder at the plate right now, Arlie Bean. Yeah. 
That was a great slide. Good, 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 slide. A good swing of the fastball down the middle. Hook slide around the catcher. No balls and two strikes. One out here. They together to push across the second run here in the ball game with a chance for a couple more here in the bottom of the second inning. Got to take advantage of your opportunities. Oh, good and that's an excellent, excellent pass number seven. Yeah. Uh, First baseman. Yeah, I know. Score Brock. Hey, you saw that. Too. Score Brock. Yeah. Nobody score knows. Brock. Score, uh, yeah, the Score Brock over at first made a great attempt at it, but uh, just unable to get to it. So B is still alive. No balls, two strikes. And it has a ground ball foul down the third baseline. Thank you very much there, Preston. We appreciate it. Get the word out. Let everybody know. Barr trying uh, desperately right now to, to keep her Lady Trojans close here. Down two to nothing. A chance for Lady Gators. And there's a, oh, there's a hard hit. And we got a runner caught between the oh. And everybody's oh. going to be safe. Oh. They had the runner. Zeller, that was a, a one hopper right back to the pitcher. The pitcher throws the runner, Zeller, halfway between second and third, turned and threw the ball home. They threw and turned, threw the ball back to third base, and the third baseman on the return throw home threw it low in the dirt, and he got away from the catcher, and everybody wound up safe. So, uh, the Lady Gators will take it. Yeah, bases loaded, one was... out with the leadoff batter. Who, oh, by the way, just hit a home run her last at bat. Yeah. They're going to have to pitch to her very carefully, but they have to pitch to her yeah. if the bases are loaded. Yeah, but... Would you rather give up one run or four? I'd rather give up uh, one. Big, big time in the ball game right now for the Lady Trojans, especially. Lady Gators with an opportunity. And... That ball missed high, high little. Oh, we got a one and one count. Yeah, that's one and one. It looks like the first one. Right. He had oh, um, he had no. Uh... Okay, I looked at the scoreboard wrong. Yeah, it was one and one. One and one. That ball bounces in the dirt at home plate. So two balls and one strike. You don't want to go to ball three against uh, Jackson. If you were tuned in in the first inning, you heard what happened there. She hit a shot out of here that didn't take but two or three seconds to clear that wall out there. And there's a hard ground and shortstop. She bobbles the ball, everybody's safe, and the run scores from third base. They almost hate to give her an error on that, but it That's didn't hit her right That's in the glove, same. and that was a yeah. very hard hit ball. And I will have to go down as an error, an RBI. I mean, uh, yeah. Kenzie Ellisar. Kenzie Ellisar will courtesy run for Jackson at first base. Oh, so the Lady Gator is here with a chance to put some gap between them and the Lady Trojans here in the bottom of the second inning. Up three to nothing. Just one out and the bases are loaded. <coughs> A very solid hitter coming to the plate, third baseman Alex Franklin. All right, we're back live here too now. I just had a refresh. So now I can see, oh, we had 122 people watching this. First thing you know, they're going to have ESPN wanting us to go over there. Thanks, Lady Gators. Or not. <laughs> we're we're going to be uh, ESPN Ocho. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we're going to be the Ocho. Alex Jackson steps <laughs> to the plate with the chance to really make it hurt here in the bottom of the second inning. An error and, a, and a, actually a couple of errors yeah. that allowed the... Uh, Runner reached first base on the throw to home plate and they got by the catcher. 
Those are the types of players that, that just kill coaches. And Jackson hits a foul ball that's going to go out of play. The wind blowing from left to right. Carried that one right over the fence. One ball, one strike. Let's go, Alex. Bottom half of the second inning. One ball, one strike. Bases loaded. That pitch is way up high. Like I said, folks, share the feed, like the feed, share the, uh, the page, like the page. That pitch is up high and runs the count. Three balls and one strike. So bar the Pitcher in the circle for the Trojans in danger of walking in another run. I know there's a lot of uh, Ash people that couldn't make the trip, so hopefully y'all tuning in and watching and letting everybody else up there know. There's ball four, and uh, Franklin will pick up an RBI on the base and loaded walk. And that'll run the score four to nothing. Lady Gators with a great opportunity great right here to James. blow this game wide open. And I'm sorry, folks, but I don't have her name or number. Number 26, I don't have. And yeah, we will. We are having a pitching change. The Lady Trojans can't afford yeah, to fall behind that. more than what they are. The way Addison Jackson, uh, she's a tough cookie yeah. in that circle. You, Game in and game out. Even the two losses she has this year have only been by one run and two runs. And that was an extra inning. Lost to West Monroe by a score of four to two. So she's always a competitor. She comes every inning, every out. Chrissy Young Live tuning in to watch. Play the game. Hello, Miss Christy. Count back to Lady Gators. Your shortstop, number 34, Julia. Well, appreciate that, Preston, for uh, donating and uh, to the to the uh, Lady Gators softball and putting a sign out there. Anyone else that wants to donate, we do run commercials. Uh, we're getting a little bit more on that. Uh, so if you want to sponsor a commercial, we can do that as well. Julia Kramer, oh, and there he goes. Get out of here. Woo! Julia Kramer on the first pitch. Seeing from the new pitcher, Jackson Grand Slam well out of the park in right center field. And the Lady Gators take control eight to nothing here in the second round of the playoffs. Welcome to the ball game. <coughs> That's a way to say hello. <laughs> Christian, what I miss is those high, well, hearing those high heels on that hardwood floor in the middle of a basketball game. Well, the Lady Gators with seven runs here in the bottom of the second inning, putting this game away basically just like they did Monday in the first game against uh, Cap Shreve. Captain Shreve. I'm having trouble remembering Captain. <laughs> Let's call him a. Uh, you call him Lady Gators. Lady Gators scored, I think, eight runs in the second inning or something like that. Ah, in that game. Just got under it. And Shelby Whittington, Lady Gator first baseman, first pitch swinging herself, and she uh, flies out to center field. Well, the second out here in the inning. A lot of damage already done here, though, at Lady Gator Park. Now to send to the plate the Lady Gator catcher, Sophie Smith. That's pitching right down the middle for a tall strike. Sophie actually started this inning off hit by pitch. Yeah, right in the helmet. Right yeah. in the temper. Yeah. 
And Miss Sue, I'm glad you was able to tune in all the way in Florida. There's a shout out to center field. Great play by the center field. But the center field had got a good jump on the ball right off the bat and was able to run it down in right center field and have a record the third out of the inning. But the Lady Gator push across seven runs on one hit. On one hit to the bottom of the second inning. down to second base and we're going to start the top half of the third inning. And as we said before the ball game, the Lady Gators have been playing long ball here the last few ball games. Right at the right time of the season, peaking right here in the playoffs and uh, uh, hitting two sh shots over the fence already this afternoon. Won a grand slam. And they escaped uh, Addison Jackson to an uh, eight-nothing lead here to start the top of the third inning. That pitch is inside, ball one. Hey, uh, Preston, get with us um, after the season. Send us an email or a message on here, and uh, we'll get with you and we'll set something up for starting. To, uh, we're gonna do all the commercials. Probably around June, July of next year, right before football season yeah, starts. Call, strike the knees. That's when we really run a lot of the commercials, and then we're also going to start running them for baseball and softball. So, uh, but yeah, get with us June, July next year, or I mean, sorry, this year, and uh, we'll, we definitely can set up something for a commercial. That fish gets away from uh, Sophie. Well, the ball, two balls and one strike. We're at the softball game. Um, we're winning 8-0 in the third inning. Um, what's the pass? Good. strike at the knees. So Jackson will be looking to add to her strikeout streak here. The rest of this ball game stake to an eight-run lead here. Yeah. I don't think the Lady Gators have had, that's her fourth, just recorded her fourth strike out. I don't think the Lady Gators have had eight runs scored on them in any ball game this year. Um, Jackson usually in pretty good control on that, yeah. in that circle. We're back top of the leadoff now. There they are. Down ball to Hopper to Franklin at third base, scoops it up, and easily throws out the runner at first base. Yeah, good thing because she found What a fine this young lady was Ooh, when she, she walked fast. on campus. Number one, Deja Williams. As an attempted bunt foul against the screen. Okay. Now, a little outside. 
One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on. We're in the top of the third inning. Lady Gator's in control at this moment. There's a changeup that the batter just manages to foul back against the screen. Play off to our left. So this young lady in the circle, uh, is she the leadoff batter? No, this is the no, leadoff was batter. this is second. Yeah. She, she was a strikeout victim yeah. her last time. Okay. Proving to be a tough out her second yeah. time here. Yeah. yeah. And the swing and a miss and Jackson records her fifth strikeout mm -hmm. of the ball game. So we're going to go to the bottom of the third inning. Eight nothing, Lady Gators. Five, five bills up, seven to one after three now. For those of you that just heard that score and does not understand what it means, if Pineville were to win this ball game against Pineville, the Lady Gators will host the. First three rounds of the playoffs right here at Lady Gator Park. If Hanville were to come back and win that game, we would have to travel to Hanville Saturday. So Pineville up seven to one in the third inning of that ball game. freshman and second baseman for the Lady Gators to lead off the bottom of the third inning. Pitches outside and low. Just high, two balls and no strikes. That pitch is outside, so third in. Depends on my work. I found that shit about to take off, and I might be out here in Mississippi. Definitely Saturday. There they call a strike right over the inside part of the plate. I don't know about that yeah. Oh, egg the umbrella. Yeah. And that was ball four, and Zeller was caught on down to first base. Now, that is where the Gators went to her. Might start off like we did last inning. We had, other than Sophie getting hit by pitch, Zeller walked last inning. She walked this inning, and then we. Carmen Dixon, the lady to get a right fielder, steps in at the plate, takes ball one. I think it was more lower than it was. Yeah, because it was over the plate. Yeah, it, it, it caught the corner, but catch it did catch it just off the ground. It broke well. Yeah. Yeah, the pitch on the inside part of the knee. So this, this young pitcher is 
moving, trying to move the ball around in the strike zone, trying to figure out these late gators. Miss Lynn, thank you for the donation. There's a line shot out to right field. And Carmen Dixon been stroking the ball well here the last few ball games. Like I said, everybody team seems to be Except peaking right at the right time, and you can't ask for a better time. She stands on that first base with nobody out here to lead off. Good pass. Uh, sacrifice bunt. Another beautiful bunt. Put down that by Landes. Landes, the, uh, just a freshman designated player. Great bunt to put two more runners in scoring for this. Now to send to the plate, the Lady Gators center fielder, Aralee Bean. She reported that infield, throw the ball, ball. ball. kind of like yeah. infield single, fielder's choice, yeah. no out kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. A lot of confusion. Yeah. Fortunately, it worked out for a, for a lady game. Yeah. That pitch is outside, runs the count, two balls and no strikes. So the Lady Gators keeping the pressure on the Lady Trojans here in the third inning. After a large second inning, pushed across Ooh. seven runs. As they call strike. No, I'm going to need that coat. Probably do better going through the left side right there. There's a, there's a pickoff attempt at third base, but the, the left fielder wound up catching the ball. Ball went sailing way over third baseman. Yeah. So no damage there. That's a call that time strike on the outside yeah. part. He called it that time. Yeah. Right? So uh, runs the count full, three balls and two strikes. Addison Jackson in the on deck circle. They definitely don't want the bases loaded again with her at the plate. Yeah, they're swinging and miss. So Bean goes down swinging. I think that's the first strikeout for the Lady Gators. Yeah, for the Gators. So with two outs, Jackson. two on. Jackson. Addison Jackson, the Lady Gator, Gator, Gator pitcher, Put just tied the single season home run mark in the bottom of the first inning, hitting her 15th home run of the year. That's awesome. I'm pitch to her. Don't put it on. Hopefully she'll have three more games to try to break the record. That pitch is inside at the knee. That pitch gets away from the catcher. The runner comes home and that's safe. Woo, you gotta get down, girl. You gotta slide. You have to slide. Woo I'm sure all. Yeah. Five, I'm sure all five coaches will tell her that yeah. when she gets in the dugout. Oh yeah. Could have been called out right there. Was almost you know, throw almost beat her there. Yeah. But it does score the ninth run of the inning. Pretty good. There's a curved ball on the outside part of the plate. So. Yeah, that was pretty. Count two balls and one strike. There's a hard shot to left field. Jackson gets her second hit of the ball game. And that will drive in the 10th run here for the Lady Gators. 
Lady Gators, Lady Gators. Lady Gators. Lady swinging some mighty bats here again this afternoon for the second round of the playoffs. Did the same thing against Captain Shreve Monday in a mercy rule five inning game, 14 to nothing. 13. 13 to nothing and lead here today, 10 to nothing, just in the third inning. How many is it after four? What? How many is it after four? Well, it's, no, it's, uh, it's 15 after, after three. It's 15 after 15 three, 10 after five. Three four. The courtesy runner. That was Ellisor. Sox. Steal second base. Or call Sox. It, we're calling her Sox just now. Okay. So she gets herself in the scoring position at second base. Alex Franklin. Another freshman at the plate. Yeah, the swing at a curveball. Swing and a miss. So Franklin falls behind. No balls and two strikes. How many home runs does she have? Eight? Seven? That's uh, seven. Huh? Uh, Daddy, how many home runs she got? Seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah, Franklin with seven home runs herself. That pitch is inside. Second base, second baseman having trouble with it, but staggers, but does light herself and make the catch to retire the side three, right here. But the Gators pick up two more runs. And they're going through the top of the fourth inning, 10 nothing, Lady Gators. Folks, just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, supporting Lady Gator Softball here on Duck Blue Sports Network. Uh, again, if you notice our Venmo and PayPal down at the bottom, all money goes directly to the athletic department here at San Mo High School. Uh, like I said earlier, supporting all 28 recognized sports here at San Mo High School. Basically, we just give them, some mo give them the money and they decide how they can divide it up. So if you donate during softball, it don't necessarily go just to the softball. During baseball, it don't go just to baseball. It just divided up. Uh, two years ago, uh, the money bought the state championship rings for the softball team. Uh, last year, the money went to, uh, or the year before that, it went to the weight room, which all sports utilize. So, lead off the Lady Trojans. First stop, Gary, Aaron, Stalling. Tyson toes the, the rubber here. Wow. In the circle, and the first pitch is the ball low. And we have started the top of the fourth inning. Lady Gators cruising through so far through the first two rounds of the playoffs. Still a long ways to go in this ball game, but uh, a ball right over our head back behind us. One ball, one strike. This is outside. Baseball score. 
two balls, two strikes. Nobody out, nobody on. As a ground ball to Zeller at second base. Picks it up smoothly with one step to her left. Fires it over to Whittington at first base to record the first out. Next up for Alex, designated player number 10, Madison Briggs. Briggs, the batter for the Lady Trojans. There the call strike at the knee. Strike two, strike three, you're out. And that records the sixth strike out of the ball game. Second baseman, number 21. Bar edge. So two outs win the top of the fourth inning. Second round of the 5A State Championship softball playoffs. Now the call strike at the knee, so Jackson seems to be in control of her pitches right now. And she's pumping in strike. Oh, by the way, she pitched a one hitter in their first round of the playoff Monday. Got, a, got that going right now, too. Come on, Eddie. There's a hard liner down the third base line. Foul by about three feet. One ball, two strikes, two outs, nobody on. Yeah, I know, Ch I know Chuck was going live for the JV baseball, but then he had to hurry up and get out of there and get back to school here. They're having a uh, Hall of Fame meeting tonight he had to get back for, so I don't know if they... Uh, There's a swing and a miss, and Jackson records their sixth and seventh strike out of the ball game. Here in the top of the fourth inning. We're going to the bottom of the fourth, 10 nothing, Lady Gators. Stepping to the plate for ball one will be the Lady Gator shortstop. Julia Kramer, her last at bat, took one way out of here. Uh, first pitch she saw, and that one hits her in the ankle, and she's down hurt. Took the first pitch she saw last inning and planted it over the right center field wall, and she's hurt.
Gotcha, gotta go to the first. Hey, what's up, LG? He's gonna try going down to first base, nothing, but uh, looks like hopefully she's gonna be all right because she's walking it off. Yeah, she's trotting now, as you can see if you look at that on the screen. It'll leave a mark, but uh, hopefully she'll be all right. Now, batting gladiators, first baseman. As we were, as I was trying to say, hit her grand slam, her last at bat. And that'll send to the plate, uh, Lady Gator, first baseman, Shelby Whittington. We've got a pitch runner at. Probably that's different jerseys have different numbers, so I don't know. I don't know who the young lady is. It's number 19, courtesy running for Julia Kramer at first base. There's a fly ball at deep center left field. Left fielder takes three or four steps to her right, gets under it and makes the catch. Now we're recording the first out here at the bottom of the fourth inning. Lady Gator catcher will step to the plate. Sophie Smith, one of the four seniors on the Lady Gator roster this year. Now they call strike. Lady Gators hoping to add another run or two or three so they can end this game on the run rule early. It'll, it'll, it'll still be, if they go top of the fifth, if they don't get any, then it's... Yeah. I'd like to get a couple of insurance runs, uh, just in case. Right now, looking good for the Lady Gators moving on to the third round. And there's also looking good where they will host the third round game right here at Lady Gator Park. But still some softball to be played before that happens. There's a foul ball off to the right out of play. Come on, Sophie. There's a fish, Sophie grounds one just fouled down the third baseline. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on. Where'd my sleeve go? That pitch is way outside. Way to hold off. Runs the count full. I'm about to throw it. Can you throw this thing over my back? Right shoulder still broken. Thank you. He's hit there. Sophie hits a uh -oh. line shot to. I can feel <laughs> We had a, a uh, we had a little tripping devil right before second base. <laughs> the courtesy runner for her, <laughs> Julia Kramer, took off for second base and just out of nowhere hit the dirt a few feet short at second base. <laughs> Got a chuckle from a few people. She's all right, just a little bit dirty and embarrassed. We got to uh, get on Coach Mark. He didn't drag <laughs> there right there. Really. So, <laughs> so Sophie Smith with a good, hard shot. Single out to left field with runners at first and second. That sends to the plate. Mary Beth, Mary Beth Zeller. Yes. Unofficial today. Two walks. Two walks and a hit, maybe? No. Two no. walks? No. Two. <laughs> and a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This time. You get a hit this time. 
I'm okay with another walk. Oh, oh, he got hit. Got hit by a pitch. Got hit by a pitch. That's close. I said a hit. Yeah. <laughs> so that will load the bases now with one out. So the Lady Gators uh, in real good position right now to end this game on the mercy rule. That'll send to the plate the hot hitting right fielder, Carmen Dixon. Had a single to right fielder last hit. Yeah. yeah. There's a tall strike on the outside part of the plate. The Lady Gators threatening again here for the third inning in a row. And there they oh, shot the right field. Two of them right there. Harmon Dixon will drive in two more runs. She'll take off his second base on the four in. And the Lady Gators score two more runs. Runners move into the second and third. In scoring position again with still just one out. Another pitching change. Looks yep. like we're going to have another pitching change. But we're getting into that territory where the Lady Gators were to score three more runs. Two of them are already in scoring position. This ball game could end early. Good job, Ed. The Lady Gators in the first round had 16 hits. Uh, how many we got so far oh, today, Brad? Let me see. One. It's got to be in double figures by now. For sure. Well, we only have five, eight, that whole scores updates. Eight oh, runs. Right. Second, we only have one hit. That's right. Yeah. Live over one. So hit Sam. The fifth inning. Walker two. West Walsh call nothing. Oh. Fourth inning, Central and Mecca Central tied at one. Hmm. Second inning, West Monroe two, Benton zero. Wow. And in the fifth inning, Pineville eight, Hawkville three. So one, two, three, four, five. We nope. just gave the scores in the fifth inning. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Pineville leading Hawkville. Eight to three in the fifth inning. We only have so, six hits so far tonight. Wow. Yeah. Seems but we like more than that. But we've been hit by pitch three times. Yeah. So um, two walks and one, two, at least two errors, maybe three. Sam Landis steps to the plate, the designated player. Third freshman in the lineup for the Lady Gators. That pitch is high and outside. And the new pitcher on in the circle for the Lady Trojans. Yeah, uh, she inherits two runners going at second and third and one out. Julie uh, Walker is winning right now. Right now, all the top teams are still uh, here. Yeah. Which was, and there was no upsets the in the first be. round, yeah. which is surprising because, yeah. especially when you got that 15 playing 16 oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Land deck fouls that one off and gets the screen to our right. Two balls and one strike. As the wind picks up, but the flag yeah, still ain't moving. Yeah, it's so kind of <laughs> surprising because they're down below the sheds. So yeah. They're at half mass. Yeah. down the right field by the new uh, new pitcher coming in for uh, Ash is number seven Miss Scarbrock she was in the game earlier so she just 
I don't know what position she came. She, I think she was playing first. I think her and the pitcher just switched. Okay. Yeah. That was a pitcher at first base. That pitch is high and outside. Runs the count full. Three balls, two strikes, one out, two on. Two runs across here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Comes around the score. Yep. Goal comes in the home. There's a hole. Fourth Petrie holds the runner up at third base. So the 13th run for the second game in a row crosses home plate for the Lady Gators. And that sends to the plate the center fielder, Ara Lee Bean. And there's a hard foul way out of play onto the baseball field. She had, uh, she had a home run last uh, Monday. Sure did. She was yeah. one of the four. Yeah. And folks, once again, uh, Mr. Robin Coco puts out a little community sports page, calls the sports scene, has a great, has a ground ball over the first base to record the second out, but the 14th run crosses home plate. And the 15th run is that third base, and if it were to score here, this game would end. On the run ruled, and guess who's at the plate? Miss Addison Jackson. But if you get a chance, that go to businesses, a lot of the restaurants, uh, seafood places will have them. Have the thing is called Sports Scene. Got a great article on the Lady Gators here with pictures. A lot of information how the Lady Gators have done in the last few years. Coach Amy Petrie, Jackson Fowles run onto the baseball field out of play. Looking to drive in the walk-off hit here. Or the walk-off run, I should say. And there's a high pop up out of the center the field. And we're going to have to go to the, to the fifth inning. Yeah. Lady Gators in control. 14 to nothing here. To go four runs. And four hits. Sorry, folks. I don't know how to uh, delete that. To form the finger score, Lady Gators 14, Alexandria 0. I don't know how you uh, are. Oh, undo. 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 There we go. Figured it out. Top of seven in uh, Pineville right now. Pineville's up eight to three. Top of seven. So, in Pineville. So yeah. So barn a miracle. So, uh, three out. Yeah. 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 Pineville needing three outs, and that will help the Gators host the third round right here at Gator Park, weather permitting Saturday. Stay tuned because they're giving storms for Friday and Saturday. Why 
run over by uh, Alabama. Lead off the lane, Trojan. Third base for Gachi, Lauren Amon. Amon, the Lady Trojan's third baseman, leads off the top of the fifth inning. So Addison Jackson looking for three outs here, and this game will end. There they call a strike on the inside. One ball, one strike. Ms. Amon had a uh, south bunt her last at bat. Uh, a little swing and a miss and a ball up around the numbers. Bless you. See you now, what? Eight strikeouts? Seven? Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, the ball right back at y'all again, folks. The screen. Oh, you'll see it again, watch. They want two pitch. <laughs> pitch is just outside. Doesn't count even two balls and two strikes. Jola, it, it was a bit off the plate. Yeah, Jola, you're gonna have to come Saturday. I won't be here. There's a swing and a miss. Ball gets away from Sophie a couple of feet. She picks it up, fires it over to first base. And that will record the eighth strike out of the ball Number game six. for AJ. So we got a pinch hitter here, Miss Standifer, going to come in from Miss Stallings. And I fix it low. Pick it up right where they left off on Monday. Scoring a lot of runs here in the ball game. Got to keep in mind, though, as you go further down the road, the tougher the, uh -huh. the games get. Don't know, don't know much about Pineville, but it looks like that will be their next opponent. I'm not sure, uh, Luke. I know uh, they were playing after the JVs. Over at East Ascension, so they're actually probably still playing. In fact, I figured up high, runs the count, even two balls, two strikes. Now, three one. Well, now it's three and it's one. Three one. So, uh, don't know what Clark did with the scoreboard. But he took a nap. Yeah, I think uh, it may be live on our other uh, Facebook as well. There's a swing and a miss. That will run the count for, yep, three balls, two strikes. Clark got uh, two outs. Yeah. <laughs> he just erased the balls and the strike. There we go. There's a swing and a miss, and she already caught her ninth strikeout. The batter went fishing for that one up in her eyes. Makes up for any Trojan. So two strikeouts here in the top of the fifth inning, and yeah. Allison Jackson and the Lady Gators one out away from moving on to the third round here in the 5A State Championship Playoff. Just me. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. So Addison looks like she's zoned in here in this last inning. And Looking to close it out. Oh, yeah. He, we got to get him on that app. That pitch is high. Don't know if we'll have a final score with Pineville and Hanville before this one ends, but... Uh, 
has a might be the last out, and it is. Franklin Lane to her left a couple of steps. She scoops the ball up, finds first base, and that will complete another shutout. Back to back shutout for the Lady Gators here in the first two rounds of the playoffs. 13 to nothing Monday, 14 to nothing today. Can't get much better than that, folks. These Lady Gators are on a roll. Hopefully it will continue for three more ball games. But that's a long ways oh, yeah. to go. You've got to have good pitching, good defense, good hitting, and a lot of luck to win the state championship. Yeah. So, uh, but right now, the Lady Gators looking good, and hopefully we can carry it on through the next weekend and finish up the season on a big plus. With yeah. that win, uh, Jackson's record goes to 24 wins and three losses. Lady Gators' overall record goes to 25 wins and two losses. And uh, what more can you say? Another nine strikeout yep. game in five yeah, innings for uh, two, uh, two one hitters back to back yep. for uh, Jackson. Yep. It's looking good. The, the Gators are peaking right at the right time. And uh, folks, Stay tuned. We're in for a good little ride right here, hopefully, and uh, we'll see yeah. you Saturday, weather permitting. Yeah, like we'll I said, be uh, right back here live. We will be live. I will not be here. Mr. Leroy will be here, and uh, I'm calling you out, Jolie. If you ain't got nothing to do. You need to be here. Yes, but well, yeah, Saturday here. Um, not sure of time yet. As soon as we know the time, we'll post it on the uh, on Duck Roost. So stay tuned. Um, we'll get the word out again. Thank everybody for tuning in. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank anyone who donated. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see y'all Saturday. And as always, go Gators. Miss Leah Hines is sitting oh, behind yeah? me here. And I have to get downstairs to say hi to yep. one of the greatest pitchers the Lady Gators ever had here at the high school park. Not one yeah, of yeah, the, 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 the yeah, greatest. Yeah, just going to put it up there. Her uh, right, uh, number has been retired in left field on the signs. And uh, I have to get down to say hi to her. So, so all right. uh, everyone, have a good evening. Thanks for tuning in. Go Gators. All right.